1991 Melbourne Cup was won by South Australian Greyhound Fox Hunt, trained by a South Australian trainer, and uh, he's joined us, Peter Jovanovic, back living in South Australia these days, but uh, spent quite a lot of time in Victoria and a lot of periods of time in Victoria, Peter, and uh, well, we're going to talk about the mighty Fox Hunt and uh, a memorable Melbourne Cup for you. It was, it, it was. Um, I think it was my first start in a Melbourne Cup and one with, one with him. You uh, bought the dog for uh, an owner, John Cunningham, of course, uh, a wealthy uh, man in South Australia. He bumped in. You bumped into him in the casino one night. And he was looking for a greyhound. That's right. Yeah, he, um, we used to uh, meet at at the watering hole. We call it over there. And uh, anyway, one day he's, he'd, he'd, he'd been on my back, asked me to train a dog for him. And anyway, with that meeting that that night, um, it didn't take long. Um, I had wind of a dog that was available in Sydney. I checked it out, and um, with that. I rang John up and said, I think I've got a dog f for us to train and to buy. Now he'd, uh, he'd set the Gosford 486 uh, track record, so he had plenty of pace, but you had an amazing setback with him uh, when uh, he virtually fractured or broke a stopper bone uh, uh, in about the June period of that year of the Cup. That's right. It was actually, it was, uh, um, I was trialling him at Olympic Park, getting him ready for the uh, Silver Bullet. Um, he was going to be taking on dogs like Malawi Prince, highly blessed, um, I think everyone knows the dogs, uh, they were champions in their own right, and I think from memory Malawi Prince broke the track record that night in the final, yep. Yep. but no he was, look, he, it was his last trial leading up into the silver bullet, and unfortunately he, straight after the line, he in the trial he, he was on three legs. Uh, Chris Mahima did the operation, but uh, you uh, put a lot of your own work into him after the operation. Yeah, well, Chris and I worked together. Chris Mahima is probably, in my opinion, uh, the best operator in the business. Um, if you want a dog uh, to get back on the track with a broken bone or whatever, needs surgery, he's the man to see. I was always told, and I can confirm that. Um, he did a wonderful job on uh, uh, in the operation operating field and he didn't plaster it for me um, we worked in together I I took him along I worked him uh, three times a day uh, so I didn't lose any muscle tone body wise but anyway um, finally um, he gave me the all clear and um, then I still worked on him and I think I produced him first up at Olympic Park in the state in the uh, national state heats and uh, of course from there on, uh, that was September, uh, always had the Melbourne Cup in mind and uh, when you got there, um, he won his seat and you were pretty confident you were going to win the final. Oh look, he was, he was a wonderful dog, like, um, he could virtually do what you wanted him to do. Um, you could, he had pace, he could come from behind, he could do anything, boxes didn't bother him. Um, it, it's, it'll, in one way, we don't really know how good he was uh, with that stopper, uh, broken stopper bone, uh, because he wrote, it was, I think from the time I was operated to when he raced, I think it was approximately ten and a half weeks, and he raced with the, with the screw still in the, in the bone. It was a fall at the first turn, your bloke was in front, and he got a huge break down the back, he got a dozen lengths in front, you must have been at peace with yourself, because you were obviously going to win the race. Well, when he jumped, um, it was virtually all over then, in my opinion it was, yeah. like, um, and then when, the, when there was a bit of a scrimmage at the first turn, well that just put the race beyond doubt. Victorian Toad favourite, number eight, Lively Monarch at five to two, the light on lure rolling set. Racing Luke's chariot on the inside was slow to begin and Fox on away brilliantly. Fox Hunter's going to lead from Dabra Flash. Over on the inside, Luke's chariot crossed down a big mix up on the first corner. Down was Keto's image and in trouble too as Braquito. Down the back straight and Fox Hunter's left with a big break in the cup. It's out ten lengths to Newish. Running the third lively monarch. Followed then by Luke's chariot. Then came Cover's Gold and Dabra Flash. Around the corner, Fox Hunter's well clear, has got the cup parceled up over New Wish and Lively Monarch. Fox Hunter's won the Melbourne Cup about eight lengths to New Wish. Lively Monarch has run third, a gap there to Cover's goal, followed by Luke's Chariot, then came Dabra Flash, and Braquillo and Keto's image fell on the first corner. A $12,000 purchase, so he, he returned uh, that money uh, triple fold. He, he won plenty of prize money. Peter, uh, you've had lots of good dogs, national sprint championship, uh, you've won it a couple of times, three times I think, uh, some very, very good dogs. How did you rate Fox? And as you said, you don't know how good he might have been prior to uh, the stopper bone injury. How did you rate him? As good a dog as you've had? 
Yes, he was. He, he's, he was the perfect dog that everyone dreams of having. He boxes. You could didn't matter where he drew. It didn't matter what position he was in. He could do anything. He could either lead, come from behind. The be one of the best chasing dogs I've ever had. The other important thing you told me about him, if you declared him, he always got the money. Well, John Cunningham can, t can vouch for that. <laughs> I mean, I think he never let us down once. Fantastic, Peter, uh, remembering uh, one of the great Melbourne Cup winners in 1991, uh, Fox Hunt, uh, and uh, a greyhound new trainer. Amongst the many good greyhounds that you've had, uh, your Melbourne Cup winner, and it's a special race and a special win. Thank you very much. No, no, it was an honour to win the race, and you, you, you never forget it. It's, it's a pleasure to, uh, to win something like that, and you always aim for the highest, and I think the Melbourne Cup's a race that everybody in greyhound racing loves to win.